Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors. Don Tajina here with Chef Jimmy Dean over the Guides in in Boulder Junction, Wisconsin. You know, I end up getting up here about three times a year. You know, I get up here in the spring, I get up here in the fall, and I come out uh, for the ice season. And, uh, you know, we do our best to catch walleyes and stuff like that. And, and you know what? A vacation is not a vacation unless, you know, you get out, you get out to eat and stuff like that. And that's why, I mean, we enjoy coming to Jimmy Dean's restaurant here, the Guides in. Because it's not a vacation for mom or for dad when they have to do all the cooking, they have to do all the cleaning afterwards and stuff like that. Um, it, it's nice to get out every once in a while. Jimmy has explained that uh, the fried walleye, the pan fried walleye, is the number one seller here at Guy's Inn and it has been for many, many years. And uh, Jimmy, let me step out of the picture here for a second and why don't you show us how you make it? Okay, we're going to start off and we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We have to take the walleye, bring it as close to the front as possible. We're going to start at the tail. We finish the tail. So we get a little skin. I hold on to the skin. And we take that filet right off of the skin. Isn't that nice? There's no meat left on there. Now we're going to take this walleye and we have to dust it. I call it dusting. It's not a breading. And we're going to lay it into this pan of a flour mixture that we make. It's flour and seasoning. And we pat it off and what we're doing is we're drying it. You see that? It, it, it's not wet, and then we dip it into this egg wash, and that egg wash is a combination of uh, two or three eggs, we pat this down, and some milk and water. You see how that uh, the egg wash helped that flour adhere to that walleye. We come over to our, our flat top or your pan at the house, and we put it, we call it, hose it down, put a little oil on the top and the bottom. Don't use it a lot, it's not fried, pan fry and put a lid on it. I wanted to explain about the lidding, how important it is on the walleye. That is the secret of the walleye. When we put the oil on the bottom of, of the grill or your pan and you put a lid over the top, here's what happens. There's moisture in the fish and that moisture, when you put a lid on top, has nowhere to go and it creates a steam. It wants to be released. Um, and, and, and the top of this pan is very hot. And that steam hits the top and, and, and it pushes back down into the fish. And the oil that's underneath that fish, it actually, the steam goes to the bottom of the, the fish and it actually pushes the oil, which is on this pan, just visualize it under this pan, that the oil being pushed away from that fish. And as that fish, we, we, we lit it, we look at the clock, we let it on there for five minutes. A total of 10 minutes cooking time. But at five minutes is when we want to flip it. And when I lift this, uh, this lid up, you'll see some steam come up. You want to flip it as fast as possible. You will notice that when I laid the walleye down, I oiled the grill first, and I put a swab of oil over the top of the fish. Now when I flip it, the oil that's on that fish is now going to be on the bottom. And the same thing is going to happen in the first process. The steam is going to take that oil and push it away. So, I think I'm, um, I'm going to lift this up and flip it and put the lid back down and you should be able to see some steam come up here. See the steam come off the top? Underneath, we flip it, see how nice and golden brown that is? It has to, I'm going to cover it right away. That golden brown was due to, the, uh, to the, the technique of the egg wash. You always have to dry a fish off or chicken off uh, before you uh, Coat it and put it in the egg wash, that, that, that dusting will hold the egg wash to the fish and then when you like double dip it, so it's, it's flour, egg wash, and flour. Now in that flour seasoning, uh, we add seasonings to that and whatever seasonings you like, or you could buy a floured uh, uh, you know, mixture at the store. Uh, you can even use a panko breading, I mean you could use a breading of some type if you wish. I don't like the crumbs on there, I do like the panko. Uh, but if you use a breading, you should dust it into plain flour first, uh, then an egg wash, and then maybe back into the breading. So this is why we use this uh, technique for our walleye, and, and what makes it as good as what it is. Because we had that wild rice, I uh, put some rice in the pan, the wild rice, I put a little water in, and this is what we do at night. Uh, everything is done to order. Uh, put it in the pan, 
turn on the heat with a little water and we bring it back to life because the walleye is ready to come off. I'm just going to let that sit there and I'm ready to take this walleye off and lift the lid. We always like to flip it back to the original side because this is the back and this is the curved side. Look at the coloring that you have on that. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to take the walleye, put it to the plates, okay? And on top of that, we always take a little, uh, we just drizzle a little butter on top of that and we take a lemon juice and squirt it over the top. We're going to garnish that, uh, a little chopped parsley, a couple lemons, parsley for decoration on the side. Take that wild rice mixture that we just uh, re-steam, put that on the side. Now that wild rice pan-fried walleye is a Northwood dish. It doesn't get better than that. And that's why they keep coming back. What do you think of that, Don? Would you like to dig into that?